This is an EVAP canister system I removed from a Ford 2000 Explorer. As you can see, the vent tubing has been chewed through by mice. Mother had this car stored in her garage, a favorite place for mice to seek shelter and safety from predators. The mice chewed the tubing because of the road salt sprayed on it. This often happens in the rear wheel areas because those back wheels do not have fenders with protection like the front wheels have. Uh, by the way, we live up in North Jersey. You might notice the solenoid vent valve is also quite rusty due to the road salt. When dealing with an older vehicle, you can basically replace this with just about any vent valve with similar hose connections since they all operate the same way. Cheap cars means cheaper vent valves manufactured identical to the more expensive ones, so why waste your money? It's all in the marketing. Since the chewed vent tubing had a bend in it, I cut out the bad section and installed a smaller internal extension. It's just a vent. I could have left it off after all this video is 2019 or made in 2019, so the car is 19 years old. For the replacement vent valve, I was lucky. I found an original new one on eBay, but this time I wrapped it in some wide plastic tape to protect it from road salt. It should outlast the vehicle now. The two hose lines you see, one has a green plastic fitting and the other is white. They have this special designed idiots from a Ford engineers uh, who designed these connectors. Well, they might be fine when fairly new. However, they can be a pain in the ass to disengage when old. I had to literally destroy them to get them loose from the vehicle. To reconnect these two uh, hoses uh, later, one goes uh, to the fuel tank and the other goes to the purge valve located in the front of the vehicle under the battery. Both connect directly to the charcoal canister, so it really does not matter uh, which goes to which. Ford could have saved by using a T-fitting and only one hose goes to the canister. Once I busted those badly designed Ford connectors, I used uh, rubber tubing spliced on the one side in half to straddle over the two connections and secured it with a hose clamp on both sides. After everything was reinstalled, I took a reading with my Launch Scanner Pro and found the system was still leaking. So I replaced the gas cap and it still leaked. I got under the car and looked around after replacing the purge valve that's located under the car battery, even though it, there was nothing wrong with it and it still leaked. So I uh, looked again underneath the vehicle around the fuel intake pipes. I noticed the steel fuel pipe was pretty rusty with chunks of metal falling off as I rubbed on it. The smaller air one half inch diameter vent steel tubing was also quite rusty. I cleaned it as much as possible using steel wool and then coated the pipes with a rust inhibitor. Once that dried I sprayed the whole area with flex seal including the canister hoses. That's a trick you you can all use. I tested the system again and this time it passed. In case you're wondering, I removed the canister tray by having to drill two three quarter inch size holes using a step drill in the trunk area. I have no idea how the idiots at Ford installed the tray since only one of the three bolts that hold it up was accessible. Once the holes were drilled under the carpeting, I was able to get a quarter inch drive socket through to remove the bolts. See the video image. The ridiculously designed purge valve designed by Ford idiots is designed that way to make it appear complex, 
when in fact it is almost identical to the vent valve in function. It's their way of charging more for less. Kind of like placing roses on shit. Purge valves used to be controlled by vacuum connections to the intake manifold. Now it's done with a computer controlling a solenoid which allows them to monitor for leaks while it's okay for volcanoes to go off. This last image shows you how you can bypass the EVAP system if all else fails due to the age of the vehicle or you can no longer buy parts for it. It's not legal and it involves leaving the vent and purge valves connected so the computer doesn't detect a problem and then adding another vent valve directly on the hose going from the canister uh, to the tank. By closing this added solenoid valve the pressure sensor will sense a minor increase in pressure in the tank and signal that the EVAP system is working just fine. It's all about leaks from tank to canister to purge valve. The tank pressure sensor's sole function is to ensure your tank isn't leaking vapors. In other words, you've got a tight tank. Thank you for watching. Visit us at LarryandJane.com. Also check out my latest books, Presidential Treason of Three Stooges and Sunaro. Both are available from Amazon. Sunaro is about traveling through space to another galaxy. Thank you very much.